<clears throat> Hello Fisher Jenkins and welcome to this YouTube channel. My name is Marco and in today's video we are going to talk about <laughs> storytelling in step in aerobics. Let's dive into it. Boom! I'm really glad to see all of your smiling faces. It was been a while. I was working on some new projects, working on some videos, and I was traveling a lot, as you can see in my lifetime challenge video. I was also working on this cool small studio, and I didn't have some chance to put new videos on Step and Aerobics on this YouTube channel. But this time I'm going to change it a notch. So in this video we are going to talk about storytelling, how we can use the storytelling in Step and Aerobic class. If it's your first time on this YouTube channel, don't forget to click to subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell to have all the videos that you want on this YouTube channel. We have some dance tutorials with some music and we have some dance tutorials without the music in which I explain you how to achieve a choreography really easily. So if you're ready, let's dive into the computer and start. So I'm a big fan of movies and when you're watching a good movie you will always have a good story. So how can we put a good story in step and aerobic classes? Every movie has a cool beginning, a middle part and the end. If we watch a movie we will always have what we call in the first part the exposition. Then we'll have the raising in the action, the crisis, the climax, and the denouement, of which we call the falling in the action. For instance, if you watch a Die Hard movie with Bruce Willis, you will have an exposition. The hero comes to LA from New York to meet his wife. Then, rising in the action, he is in Nakatoma Plaza with some terrorists. The crisis, he is going to save his girlfriend or his wife. The climax, he kills the bad guy and the falling in the action it's the christmas time everything is good happy ending so how can we use this in step and aerobic class the first thing we need to know is the process what happens before the classes what happens during the classes and what happens after the classes before the class we need to prospect we need to explain people what we are doing and we need to invite them in our classes this is really easy part. Then during the classes we need to teach, we need to learn them, we need them to sweat and we need them to have fun. And after the class we need to thank them, we need to have some referrals from them and we need to prepare our next class. Great, now that we know this, we are going to structure a little bit more our class. In our class process we'll always have a little bit the same thing as in the movie. We're going to have a beginning, we're going to have a middle part and we're going to have the end part. In the beginning of the class we're going to have what we call the intro. This is the time where you're going to present your class. We have some blocks of step and aerobics, of course. We have maybe a final show. Then we'll have what we call the outro. Outro is the time where you're going to Thank them for coming to your classes. Now that we know this, the most important thing to know is how can we organize our blocks and how can we analyze our blocks? What happens in the blocks? So we have what we call the block process. In this block process, we will have three phases. The first phase is going to be the learning phase. In this phase, we are going to have clean technique, we are going to need to explain our people what is the terminology of the moves. We will need to have some cueing and some cool variations. In this first phase, our energy levels are going to be a little bit lower, but the technique always needs to be clean. In our second phase, which we call the repetition phase, we will need to have some precisions, more specific cues and the memorization. The energy levels are going to be medium and this is the phase where the people need to remember the choreography. The third phase is going to be what we call the style and fun phase. In this phase 
we're going to give more compliments to our people and then you will have the high energy now that we know the different phases of our block let's go a little bit further when we structure a class we will have what we call a classical approach classical approach is what most of instructors do this is our structure of a classical approach the beginning the middle and the end block one two three four final show intro and outro and then phase one phase two phase three for now everybody knows how to do it but most of the people when they are doing their faces they always have the same level of the energy in their faces this is a trick because if you always do the same level of energy you will not play with the music and there is no story to tell so in a personal approach you will have the same structure but the phase one the phase two and the phase three will have a different level in energy so you will respect them low energy in the phase one a little bit more energy in phase two and high energy in phase three you're going to do the same thing on the second block third block fourth block and the final show but as you can see here the phase three always go a little bit higher in blocks my approach is a little bit different it's not the based approach but it's my secret sauce and I'm going to tell about it so shh, don't tell it anybody I always have the same structure my first block is going to be a symmetrical block my second block is going to be again a symmetrical block and my third block is going to be the same it's asymmetrical the fourth block is going to change a notch because I want to have some cardio so it's going to be a symmetrical block really easy block to do and then I'm going to respect the levels of the phases but in the first part where I'm going my just after my intro I'm going to use the connections with my arms I always like to play with the arms so this is my approach and then in the first sequence of my block I'm going to use high energy because I want people to be engaged and I'm going to use what we call the fast pace didactics then in the second part I'm going to do a lower level in my phase one because the people are too engaged so I need to put the level of energy a little bit down then in the third block I'm going to put energy level a little bit higher in my first phase but lower in my second phase and in my third phase a little bit higher again the same thing applies for the fourth block here I'm going to go again the same thing one two three low medium high in my final show I'm going to do a progressive energy levels and then I'm done outro I'm going to explode on the end now why do I do this in my second block I always want to do what we call the insertion of arms because here I'm learning them how to do the arms and then in the second block they are going to apply them in the third block we are going to place some style elements which are going to put a little bit of spice in my career in the fourth part I'm going to use the cardio okay so like like I said it's going to be a symmetrical cardio but really high cardio but really easy technical level in my first block I always use the Japanese insertion and the step-by-step -step, uh, method in my second block I'm going to use the 24 to 8 count method third block is going to be addition because we are going to do much of style elements we need to have some cool method in the fourth is going to be the liaison method between the cardios left and right really easy just put them together and you have the liaison method and then here like I said maybe I can have an insertion or a cutting if people don't have uh, the choreo I'm not going to use the insertion and the cutting it's going to be too complicated and I don't want this in my classes 
So use these elements, use these tools to construct your own story for your step and aerobic classes. This is going to be important because people are going to identify themselves to you. And this is, for me, the most important part when doing step and aerobic classes. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, comments, just do it below. Use these tools to create your own stories. Have fun and, and I will be seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye!